Tuesday, June 21st. Um, we got the, we're going long, so if you're starting to notice a trend here, is that, uh, not that, not, the trend is not that on Tuesdays we go long, because we telegraphed that long, we told you that was going to happen, but, you know, Saturday EWODs are always long as well, but we don't normally have a barbell. We had a barbell for, uh, for Eva Strong, but, um, Tuesdays are where we feel like, not only can we go long, but we can throw a barbell in, and completely different stimulus at that point. Right, so this is a long workout, not necessarily an endurance workout where the where the stimulus or the intent is to build aerobic capacity because there's a barbell in it. You're gonna build aerobic capacity just because it's a just because it's a metabolic conditioner, but not necessarily the point of today's workout with that barbell involved. Alright, so um, yes, I'm driving and, and talking to you, but only because I did the workout and now I'm driving home from the gym, and I want you to have this or this video in a timely manner. Um, so, what did I learn about doing this workout? I did a barbell at 135. You read the notes. What we really want is for you to pick a barbell where you're going to touch and go. And I look, I'm saying this so that you actually do it. You're going to touch and go reps, but you're only going to touch and go more, uh, twice. Meaning, like break your sets into at least uh, break your barbell into no more than two sets so uh consider that because it's a long workout and then the other thing that i and so i use 135 and i would definitely consider that on the higher end i actually had the barbell built as 115 plus some tens just in case i felt like i needed to to, to uh, modify it down in the middle of the workout i never did but i maybe should have um we mentioned in the notes, in case you read them, that this is a posterior chain workout, meaning if, that you are someone who, you know, from deadlifts gets uh, lower back pain because you feel like you don't fire your glutes quick enough or, or um, as efficiently as you should. Then this is a type of day where that's going to just continually happen to you because uh, power cleans to an extent, you're picking the bar up off the floor. Deadlifts are obviously picking the bar up off the floor. Um, either of those two things have the ability to pull you a little bit forward. So while you're touching and going, you are having to do the eccentric part of the movement. Um, and that can get you if you go too heavy, if you do too many reps at a, at a, a load that you're not ready to do that at. Um, same thing can apply to the pistols because, you know, if you can do pistols, but you know that your body contorts into all kinds of compromising positions or, or in order to just... Uh, get the job done, then you are putting yourself, you know, not at risk necessarily of injury, but at the very least at, um, at risk of uh, hyper fatigue or, you know, it's almost like if your body has to do more than it should have to in order to get the pistol done, that's kind of like doing a pistol, it's kind of like doing double unders with donkey kicks, right? Or, to, or someone who lifts their knees doing double unders, you know that that's way more tiring. Um, and so that is a risk that we run with the pistols today. Um, same thing with box jumps. If you've ever done box jumps, uh, you obviously have done box jumps, but I mean, if you've ever done them and combined them with deadlifts before, you know that uh, in some ways the box jump, the, it lights up your posterior chain even more so than the deadlift. Um, so just keep all of this in mind. And to me, what all of that boiled down to strategy-wise was this is not a sprint. There's just no way in which this is, there's no world in which this workout would be a sprint. So that's how it differs from other long wads that we do, particularly on Saturdays. This is not a sprint. In fact, I like to look at this workout as I was doing it, as everything broken up into halves. I can do 20 pistols, should I? No, not today. I can do 20 box jumps, should I? No, I took a nice rest at the top of the box after every 10 box jumps. The, the power cleans, eight and seven, every single time, meeting my own standard of uh, uh, no more than two sets. Can you do unbroken or, uh, or uh, touch and go bar over burpees? Not necessarily, but you can break them up, 10 and 10, rest after the 10, uh, and that's exactly what I did today. So uh, it got me to four rounds. I think that that's a competitive score, but definitely beatable by you guys. So beat me today please um i think i uh, having been the one that sort of 
guinea picked it, I guess you could say. I think that we can all do better than four rounds as, as long as you choose a, a smarter weight. Um, or just use my score to strategize. Uh, but again, I think it's pretty smart to... Here's no... Here, I'm someone who always asks you guys to strategize and to take smart rests. I did not take smart rests today. So if you learn anything from me, break your sets up however it is you want, but try to rest at a consistent pace. So I don't know, 10 to 20 seconds every single time in between your broken up sets. Uh, and and go through it like this is almost like this is like a theme of our Tuesday long workouts recently when that is Even though it's an AMRAP. It's really kind of a chipper and look at it that way What do I got to do? How do I got to chip away at this to get four or five rounds? Um, and I think everybody can do that. We'll see All right guys enjoy